Thank you guys so much for joining your friend Anthony Aguero once again for Real America's Voice News. And we are out here back in Tucson, Arizona, guys. We are joined by Michelle Scapoletti. And Miss Scapoletti, can you please explain to us what has just happened here on your property? Yes, um, as you can see, we have a beautiful historic building that has has been under construction for two years and it is vacant. There's nobody living in this building. And um, we've had, we just put it up for sale. Um, my husband and I live in another address and we come down here occasionally. Um, last week, I went into the mailbox, which you can see behind me is easily accessible from the top uh, drop box area of the mailbox. And I put my hand in there and I thought it was Christmas. I was like, oh, we got lots of mail. And uh, there were packages in it and everything. And I was thinking, oh, this is great. You know, I've got some mail from somebody coming, maybe realtors or people interested in the building because we had just put it up for sale. Um, this is 509 South 6th Avenue. And um, lo and behold, inside of the mailbox, I had tons, tons of changes of official changes of address from the U.S. Post Office, and I had a package, a, a mail, um, some mail that had a prescription in it because I could hear it. And so I actually um, got a hold of the lady whose mail this was, Kristen Lamb, and she gave me permission to open her mail. And it was, in fact, her dog's prescription and changes of address, which she did not authorize. And so she has since contacted the Pennsylvania um, Attorney General's Office, the Pennsylvania Postmaster, and the Fraud um, Department of the Pennsylvania Voter um, Ad Administration. Um, as you can see, what we're going to show you, there's numerous changes of address. And we do not know any of these people. We did not authorize these people to be changed to our building address, which you can see is 509 South 6th Avenue. We own the building. 